this is Poco X6 Pro and it is currently running on a latest Evolution X ROM. I just flashed this yesterday and I've been using it since yesterday and I got to know so many things. So in this video, we are going to cover everything about this ROM, user interface, and to do gaming, the customization and everything. So let's run the intro. First thing first, this is Evolution the Evolver. This is Evolution X latest ROM. This is based on Android 16. Let me show you about device. It is based on Android 16. And this comes with the October 1st October security patch and vendor and this is evolution X version 11.3 also 16 this is for the this is by the way unofficial build it comes with Google G core apps let me start with the customization see let me show you the smoothness we get see it is very smooth the app opening app app opening animation even history managing apps it is so smooth and by the way this rom does comes with a strong integrity by default so you can use any banking apps i have run the n2 score in this device and device code around i run twice the first score was 12 lakh then second time when i run again again it's scored around 1.1 million and I don't say it's a good but if you compare it with some other USB based ROM like Lunaris that goes beyond the limits like 1.5 million and to score that's amazing by the way this has better battery backup than compared to the Lunaris and it is more stable and more smooth Lunar Lunaris feels so smooth but if we compare it with this ROM this feels smooth and everything battery backup is amazing in this i got around nine hours of battery backup even i played games for more than one hour and still i got nine hours of battery backup let me start with some settings let me take you to the settings so this is how it looks first of all there is your google account then the evolver here you can customize it like theme you can customize theme settings notification style there is so many notifications cyberpunk duo line even you can use ios style like this notification should be ios ios style and then audio it comes with so many audio features like this you can use different different uh, let me use some like let me try this uh, amazon fire you need to restart not now i don't i'm not gonna you can use a different different start of audio and then unlock sound and we have this system fonts you can use different different type of fonts there is so many if you like custom fonts and all i am not a fan of these fonts but if you like it you can apply it and use it in more you can you get a themed icon for this pixel style you can get and then we have this home screen system icons you can choose any of these and then icon shape you can change like any other USB ROM it comes with so many customizations you can even change navigation bar I'm using this gesture by the way best thing is you can change even boot animation let me show you I love Google animation so you just have to set it like this and when you will reboot your device let me try to reboot it I still remember first time when I used this animation it was my Redmi Note 4 and I was using custom ROM, ROM on that device and this Google boot animation looks amazing and I was fan of it and I love it a lot see this and comes with two three different styles like Monet and this I love this Google even it feels amazing I tell people see my my device is different device you can change these kind of boot animations using some module as well but here you get these features without even root that's the best thing you don't get these things 
in Lunaris or any other AOSP ROMs. Let's get back and we were at the boot animation. Font, unlock more theme icons, then system icons, signal, navigation bar, and then boot animation. We were here. You can use many more. There is so many like Valorant. Cust you can even set custom and select the boot boot file, and it will be set. You can use Cyberpunk, Dirty Unicorn, Evolution X, Reveal, so many. Then AOD wallpaper. It is working fine. I have tested this. Like AOD is like display keeps working even when you lock it. You can turn it on and set the wallpaper. And see this CRT, I love this. See, I love this screen of animation like old old time TV. My our TV used to work like this, close like this. Then there is lock screen customize. You can use media art on the lock screen and charging status. You can get the voltage and view. And you can even get music visualizer. When you turn it on, when you play a music, it does show a music visualization career name and then ripple animation i love this ripple animation when we do this this boom this is ripple animation and then screen off ud fps enable when the screen is off by the way in some devices the screen fingerprint sensor doesn't work screen off in this it is working because this is this, this device is good x sensor that's why uh, then we have this gesture set, gestures bar, brightness control, quick pull down. This is quick pull down from here. I haven't set it yet. Then if I select right, if I pull it, this is quick pull down. Let me show you the status bar. This kind of status bar you get in this. You get so many features. By the way, uh, they removed power tools. Like you can use thermal profiles. There is no thermal profile in this. I guess that's why it has a best, best battery backup. You can even turn on status bar per logo. Laga sakte hai. Hai? Uske baad, after status bar, there's quick settings, brightness slider, brightness, data usage. You can see your data usage here. I use around 9.13 gigabyte of data. And then battery interface. And you can use a different, different type of, I have set this 47% text. I love this text. Haptic feedback, you can turn this on and when you turn on anything like uh, let me try this turning on bluetooth it does show give you a haptic feedback and then if we have this miscellaneous my bluetooth tile dialog and then notification you do get this edge lighting and all this compact heads up less boring all these features then we have this power menu you can set what you want at the power menu this is the power menu by the way you can set a screenshot button or airplane mode there and then we have this miscellaneous system head you can increase the haptic feedback if you don't like it by the way hyperos 3 has the best haptic it literally feels it like boom bam then we have component spoofing you can turn off turn this on disable force integrity in some devices when the google play google pay doesn't work you can use this by the way when you reboot this device when you just flash it just tap here update play integrity fix once you will tap it will automatically download the json file and it will be applied and then your device will get strong integrity this is how you can get it by default it doesn't come with you have to update it and then pixel props tensor sensor features like erase and all Google photo features and everything you do get unlimited Google photos and unlock higher FPS in games these are the best options and then USB configuration no restriction uh, ignore window secure flag take screenshot on the unpermission apps these are the miscellaneous and then Wi-Fi Bluetooth and mobile data is working fine even hotspot is working fine we don't get a quick share here no, we do get a quick share but we don't get Xiaomi share here NFC is working in the app section these are the app section and this is the game space you can add your games here quick start apk and then game here is the game library there was only a performance 3d benchmark you can add more games like just tap add add it let me add few more like this enter to benchmark and to the benchmark 
okay this is how you can add by the way there's nothing new uh, it's same you get then here is the sidebar you can use it like this and full app by the way multitasking is now far better in this you do get cloud features and then uh, app battery usage and then special app access these are the apps then notification you can customize notification and bubbles and everything heads up and then we have this modes driving and all these modes then display I'm using 30% brightness adaptive brightness you can turn this on you you get extra dim when you you use your device at late night you can turn this on it it gives relief to your eyes we get night mode and then see when you go there do not change it no you can change any of these but do not change this this reality engine is good do not click on these any of these i'm going to show you what happens when you do it in the end of the video because last time i did it was gone white whole screen was gone white and nothing was visible and then i had to change the rom by the way here you can turn this on extreme fps rate and it increases like smooth now it has become the buttery smooth can you see it and when you switch app see how easy it is and i love it and then we have display you can turn on 120 fps then display cut out you can change it and then screen full screen apps you can select the apps to use full screen and then we have storage it's around 512 gb and the now free system is uh 498 gb it took very less memory for the rom and then backup you can use this for take backup from your device let's come to the battery i got around 9 hours of battery backup and this is one of the best from uh, any aosp based rom if you are more focused for the battery and full day battery life i and you don't you don't game and all i suggest to use this rom this is best if you want a good battery life you can even use this charging control to increase charging speed and then system you do get let me show you you can update from here as well if you are here you just have to tap here by the way this is evolution x and it's 16 you do get these features like buttons keyboard live translation and here is the about section for the device it is and it's 16 then security fingerprint sensor face unlock everything is working i have tested and then location and digital well being this is also good thing you can monitor what you use and how much time you spend on your device and this is the accessibility so this was it by the way one thing one there is one negative thing about this rom that the camera it doesn't perform good i just don't like this camera I suggest I'm going to put a link in the description for the Gcam use any Gcam or install a stock camera from the Poco X6 Pro Hyper OS that would perform better but I do not suggest to use this camera IPK So this was it about this we have seen everything about this room If you want to use it for the daily basis good room but I don't suggest for the gamers. Let me show you. By the way, when it comes to TDM, it does perform smooth. One twenty, but see, let me show you. This FPS is turned on, and let me turn off this FPS. You get both the options. See, here it is showing thirty thirty FPS now. TDM me to बहुत अच्छा perform करता है. पर जब आप इवेंट पर गेम खेलते हो तो मैंने नोटिस किया है बैंड बच जाती है भाई अनरैंक अरे ना मैं एक बार एक मैच खेल के दिखाता हूं आपको बाय द वे 120 ट्वेंटी एफ पी एस अनलॉक्ड है यू कैन यूज इट जायरोस्कोप एंड एवरीथिंग इज वर्किंग टच में भी कोई डिले नहीं है बट लूनर इज कम्स विद द हाई रिफ्रेश रेट मतलब हाई पोलिंग रेट फॉर द टच स्क्रीन and that make that room more better mujhe pata hai video lambi ho rahi hai par yaar i have to cover all this see now it is showing 60 fps can you guys see and play responsibly 
and now it is 120 fps okay i'm gonna take this see 115 see this here you guys can see the fps It is gone to 60 fps. Can you see here? I just don't know why it is happening. This is why I don't suggest everyone to use it. By the way, इससे पहले जब खेल रहा था, it was performing smooth. इससे पहले जब खेल रहा था ना, it was performing smooth 120 at TDM. और अभी पता नहीं इसकी क्या band बज गई. भाई मजा नहीं आ रहा यार अब चढ़ जा सो ये है इसकी परफॉर्मेंस इट डज शो यू 120 सम टाइम आई डोंट नो इट इज इवन भाई हवा में ही पेल दे रहे हैं एक तो मेरी लॉबी भी खतरनाक आ रही है सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो आपने देख लिया होगा हाउ इट परफॉर्म्स तो गेमिंग के लिए तो नहीं सजेस्ट करूंगा मैं ये रॉम पर अगर आपको बैटरी बैटरी बैकअप बहुत अच्छा चाहिए तो अब ये अच्छी रॉम है आप ट्राई कर सकते हो सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो फॉर मोर वीडियोज लाइक दिस प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल लव यू ऑल